Welcome to this Wise Owl tutorial on the differences between Power Automate and Power Automate Desktop. Here's what you'll learn during this tutorial. So I'll begin with a little history, because in order to be able to understand the present, it's so often useful to be able to understand the recent past. What I'll then do is show a quick demonstration of Power Automate Server, and then another short demonstration of Power Automate Desktop, so you can see how completely different these two products with virtually identical names are. And then I'll finish with a quick summary of the differences, just so you can be absolutely certain which tutorial you should be following next. But I think that's enough for watching me. I'm going to disappear now. I'll hand over control to my alter ego. And let's get started. In the beginning were two products, Microsoft Flow and Win Automation, produced by a company called SoftMotive. Microsoft Flow ran on the cloud and Win Automation ran on your desktop. Microsoft Flow allowed you to integrate things like Office, or sorry, Outlook Online. Uh, you could create meetings in Teams. You could work with Excel Online. You could fill in and create forms applications. You could create and manipulate SharePoint lists, and you can work with OneDrive. Wind Automation, by contrast, ran in your desktop and allowed you to, you to work with things like Excel, Outlook. You could fill in web forms automatically. So that's me booking my flight to the Maldives. You could work with File Explorer and you could print things out, for example. So Microsoft Flow was an example of something called Workflow Automation and Win Automation was an example of something called RPA or Robotic Process Automation and everything was very clear. What then happened in 2019 is that Microsoft decided to rename Flow and they called it Power Automate and gave it a glossy new logo. And they did this to emphasize the fact that it was part of the new Power Platform suite of products. In 2020, they took over Soft Motive and they renamed Win Automation and they called it Power Automate for Desktop. And the world was never the same place again. So Power Automate runs in the cloud and Power Automate Desktop runs on your desktop and they're completely different products but they have very similar names. So what I'm now going to do is give you a demonstration of each of the two products and then a summary of the changes so that you can decide for yourself which one you want to learn, if not both. So we'll start with the demonstration of the Power Automate server, even though it's not actually called that. You can see from my highlighting at the top left here that it's actually called Power Automate. Um, I'm going to call it Power Automate server just to uh, emphasize the difference between this and Power Automate Desktop. So I'm going to create an instant cloud flow. Um, I'll manually trigger it and I'll skip the next stage and I'll choose to manually trigger a flow. So you can see this isn't a tutorial, I'm just getting us started. So this flow is going to contain a single step to send an email to my good mate, Delegate52. So I will choose to use a standard uh, package, a standard add-in if you like. I'll choose Office Out 365 Outlook and I'll choose one of the tasks which is to send an email. So I can now type in my friend's name, Delegate52, and it should pick up on it. I'll put the subject as hello because I've got absolutely no imagination and I'll say 252 from 51, that's me. And I'll add in my username just for a bit of pers personalization. That's something called dynamic content. So I can search for the field I want, add in my username, and because I feel this is still a bit impersonal, I'll sign my name, Andy. So what I can now do is save that flow, and then I can try running it. So I can test my flow, choose to test it manually, click on the test button, continue to accept the permissions, and then actually run the flow, lots of clicks there, and say I'm done. And the ping was the email going out. If I now go to my mate 52, you can see this is my second attempt to do this, but there's the email I just sent out. So it's all worked perfectly. So that's the demonstration of Power Automate Server. What I'll now do is give a, a similar short demonstration of Power Automate Desktop, so you can see how completely different the two products are. So here's what my example Power Automate Desktop flow will do. It will begin by launching a copy of Excel. It will get today's date and time. It will write those into a cell 
and then it will save the worksheet. So not particularly ambitious, but it should explain what the software looks like. So I've created a new flow, and what I'm going to do now is to look for some actions. So the first thing I need to do is look within my Excel actions. You can see there's lots of categories on the left hand side, and I want to launch Excel. So I'll drag that in. I'll launch it with a blank document, and it will produce a variable called Excel instance referring to that application. So I'll save that. The second thing I want to do is to get today's date and time. So I can scroll down and find the date time category and I can choose to get the current date and time. I'll store that in a variable rather than you choosing the default name of current date time. Let's call it wise hour date just for fun. I'll save that. Second action. The third thing I'll do is I will write this out to Excel. So back to my Excel list of tasks. I'll choose to write it out to an Excel worksheet. I'll use the application, which I just created earlier, and I'll write it out in column row one, row one. As to what I'm writing, I can rather unexpectedly perhaps click on the cross to add something, and I'll choose the variable I've just created containing the date and time. So that's my third action. And the fourth thing I said I'll do is to save this. So I'll choose the Save Excel action. I'll save it in my current Excel application, and I'll save it as a new document. I've got that in my clipboard, so that's what I'll call it, the date and time today, and then save that. And that's my complete flow. There's a lot more I could have added. If you look towards the top of the list of actions, you see you've got conditions and loops and flow control and all the typical programming constructs you might expect. But I'm going to run this as it stands. So if I click on the run button, what it will do after a second or two, you can see it at the bottom left of the screen counting up there, and it's just run my flow. And it's created this ex exciting Excel spreadsheet, which is saved, containing the date and time. And that's what Power Automate Desktop looks like. Totally different from Power Automate Server. I hope you'd agree. So we'll finish with a quick summary of the differences between Power Automate and Power Automate Desktop. They're both stored in the cloud. So both the two applications store their flows in the cloud. But Power Automate runs in the cloud, whereas when you run a Power Automate desktop flow, that runs on your desktop. That's a big difference. The cost is different. Power Automate, it depends really. You need an Office 365 license or 365 license, I think it's now called. Whereas Power Automate desktop is entirely free. In Windows 11, it's actually part of the operating system. In Windows 10, you have to install it, but that only takes a moment. The backstory helps. Power Automate was based on Microsoft Flow, whereas Power Automate Desktop was based on a separate application called Win Automation. And for ease of use, and this is entirely subjective, I will admit, I think Power Automate is not the easiest package to learn. You will find yourself having to learn the syntax of more JSON text files than you were expecting, perhaps. Whereas Power Automate Desktop, I think is pretty easy to learn. Certainly, it's intuitive and everything works the way you probably expect it to. So that's a quick summary of the differences. What I hope is that you're now in a position to choose which tutorial to follow, but hopefully you'll learn both products over time.